It sounds like Hong Kong activist Joshua Wong is willing to follow up on President Trump's proposal to meet with the Chinese president, except Joshua refers him uh, to him as emperor, not President Xi. The 22-year-old activist who has been jailed over this joins us now. He is free uh, there in Hong Kong. Joshua, thank you for joining us tonight. Mm. I want to ask you about uh, this idea that there are forces, that there are military assets and equipment uh, building up near the border. The New York Times says this, and, and they quote a professor from Claremont McKenna College. It is a credible threat. The Chinese government does not want to leave any doubt that if necessary, it will act. What are your concerns right now about the possibility of that, Joshua? Over the past 24 hours or so, both President Trump and Vice President Pence have spoken out with great concern over the situation in Hong Kong. And we face extreme uncertainty over where the Beijing army will interference in Hong Kong, whether the troops will be sent to suppress on our protests, that's fight for free election and democracy. What role does religion play in this for you? Because I've heard a lot of backstory about you and some of the other people who are trying to lead these, um, you know, pro-democracy demonstrations that uh, it is your concerns about Christianity or maybe it's China's concerns about Christianity that have led to some of this unrest. Um, as the facilitator of this movement, I hope to encourage more people in Hong Kong to fight for our political and economic freedom. And also, as a Christian, I'm strongly aware on how we need to protect and uphold our religious freedom, because how pro Beijing camp, they strongly suppress on the voice of Hong Kong people is crystal clear. It's lucky that how 1.7 million Hong Kongers talked to the street in the past weekend, it has shown President Xi that our movement fight for democracy is far from over. Well, and there are reports by at least one of the groups organizing uh, that there were 1.7 million people in the streets. They said that's about one in four of all the residents of Hong Kong. Where does this end? What do you hope to accomplish through this? With our cause of free election, we hope to elect our own government instead of being dominated by Beijing. The leader of Hong Kong should represent our voice instead of ju just be the communist authorities puppet. We hope to let the world to know that our movement and battle will continue. And a victory for Hong Kong is a victory for the free world. China tonight is sending warnings. They say that you, the U.S. is part of fomenting this and causing this trouble. They're warning us to stay out of it. The president has said uh, it's time for President Xi to sit down with some of you. What would you say to President Xi if you could face him? President Xi must recognize free election and democracy if the, is the promise of Beijing to Hong Kong in the Sino-British Joint Declaration before the handover. And that's the promise made to Hong Kong people. When 2,000 tear gas were fired, 700 activists were injured, even two protesters joined the protest peacefully, result in permanent blindness because bullets were fired into their eyes. I hope the world could know that now Hong Kong is on the blink of bloodshed. And I believe now is the time for White House to recognize that they should put Hong Kong human rights front and center in the new round of trade talks with Chinese representatives. Joshua Wong, uh, somebody who's been leading this for a long time. You're a very young man, uh, but you have paid the price in and out of jail and uh, being part of this conversation. Um, please stay in touch with us and let us know how this proceeds as the world now watches China and all of you there in the streets as well. Thank you, Joshua.